In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, we will create this tasty burger. You will learn such basics as using simple shapes to create complex objects, add volume using gradients, and applying shadows. To illustrate this flat-style burger, we'll need only ellipse tool, rectangle tool, pen tool, and shape builder. We will also use zigzag effect to make burger look more interesting. You can start with this tutorial even if you see Adobe Illustrator for the first time. It's easy to do and you will learn a lot of tips that will help you in each illustration that you will create. You're watching TNT Tutorials. Let's move on and create a new document. Go to Print, A4, choose Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. You can download these colors and image reference in the video description, create new layers for them, after this create a new layer and rename it to Burger. I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse like so, M for rectangle tool, build a rectangle here, select both objects, shift plus M for shape builder tool, hold alt and delete this part. A for direct selection tool, select this point and move it like this. Then you can change proportions like so, hold alt, start to move this object and hold shift key also. You should have alt plus shift combination. Then go to properties panel and click flip along vertical axis. A for direct selection tool. Select this point and move it like so. Then V for selection tool and change proportions like this. Move this layer down. I for eyedropper tool. Pick this color. M for rectangle tool and draw rectangle like this. Zoom in. V for selection tool and round corners. Deselect this object by clicking somewhere on the workspace. Leave this object here. I for eyedropper tool, pick this color. M for rectangle tool. Draw rectangle like so. And round corners again. Just a bit. I for eyedropper tool again, pick this color. Click here on swap fill and stroke. Go for line segment tool, it's over here. Draw a line like this, holding shift, then go to effect, distort and transform, zigzag. Click on preview, select 5 ridges, click here to smooth, and then click OK. I will move this object down a bit, go to object, expand appearance. Now P for pen tool, click on this point, hold shift, click here, here, and connect these points. Now click on Swap Fill and Stroke again, V for Selection tool, and you can move this object like so. I will change proportions here a bit. A for Direct Selection tool, hold Shift, select these two points, and move them like this. Now I for Eyedropper tool, pick this color, M for Rectangle tool again, draw rectangle here, select these two objects, I will zoom in so you could see better, shift plus M for shape builder, hold alt and delete these unnecessary parts. Now build a rectangle here, round corners, duplicate it, change proportions, duplicate it again and change proportions again. Then L for ellipse tool and draw ellipse here. I will make it a little bit smaller. Then P for pen tool. Create point like so. Just drag it. Then one more here. Then hold alt. And move this handle like this. Create another point here. Hold shift. Hold alt to move this handle. Create another point here. Here. And connect these points. Now if you need to change proportions, A for direct selection tool, pick any point you want and move it like so, move handles and so on. Select all these objects, hold alt, start to move them down and hold shift also. Alt plus shift, place them here, select this object, go to properties panel and select flip along horizontal axis. Now select this one and delete it. Delete this also and this one. We will leave only this rectangle, move it here and move this one here. A for direct selection tool, let's change proportions here a bit and let's replace and duplicate this rectangle 
a few times. Just make copy like this. We can select them all and change proportions like so. Now let's add shadows, M for rectangle tool, draw rectangle here, double click on fill, pick some dark color, click OK, change opacity to something like 15%, click on opacity and change blending mode to multiply. Click somewhere here to exit this window and with selection tool you can change proportions like so. Then hold Alt, duplicate this object here, select both these objects, Shift plus M, hold Alt, delete this part, hold Alt and delete this part. Now pick this rectangle again, hold Alt and duplicate it here this time. The same here, select all these objects, Shift plus M for shape builder, hold Alt, delete this part and this one. Now you can simply duplicate this object here, place it like so, and it's time to add some gradients. Select this object, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, double click on gradient tool, select radial, move this tool somewhere here. You can play with these proportions. I will place it here for now. Then go to properties panel. Click on Opacity and select Soft Light. V for Selection tool. Deselect this object, select it again. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. We've created a copy. If you don't want this part to be as bright as it is, double click on this gradient slider and pick darker color, something like this. You can see that this brightness changes. Let's leave it as it is. Select this layer and let's do exactly the same. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, Radial Gradient, pick Gradient tool, place it somewhere here. We will leave white color here for first layer. V for selection tool, deselect this object, select it again. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, go to Properties panel, click on Opacity, change Blending Mode to Soft Light, then deselect this object. Select it again, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and this time let's apply darker color here. Close this gradient window. If you want to change it, click on this gradient, pick gradient 2, and change it like so. You can do the same with first layer. Just select it here and change proportions. Alright, I will leave it like so. V for selection tool, deselect this object. Now select these ones. Ctrl G to group them. The same here. Ctrl G. We will also group these layers and these ones. Everything's grouped now. Let's place it like so. Bring this layer down, right click, arrange, send to back. Move this one here. Duplicate this layer. And duplicate this one. Right here. Then move this layer up. Like so. I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, L for ellipse tool, draw oval here, like so, then A for direct selection tool, select this point, hold shift, select this point also, and move them down, like so. Now V for selection tool, you can change proportions holding alt, like this, then A for direct selection tool, I will move this point here. You should have similar result, just use direct selection tool, select points, move them and use selection tool to change proportions like so. Now let's bring it here, make it smaller, shift plus alt to do this, hold alt, make a copy like this and then press ctrl plus D a couple of times, like so, select them all, hold shift and click on this group to deselect it from selection. Move these ones here, hold Alt, place them like so, then Ctrl D a couple of times, then select these ones, hold Shift and these ones. Move them like so, then zoom in and let's first randomly rotate these seeds and then we will replace them just a bit.
We don't need these ones, so let's delete them. We will leave only few of them right here, because we might need them. We are not sure for now, but let's just leave them. Now replace them randomly, like so. Alright, if you see that you need to make them smaller, just select them all, deselect burger, make them smaller, and then just replace them like this. Alright, so now let's add some gradients here. To edit this group, you can ungroup it, or you can simply double click on it. Now select this object, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, go to properties panel, Double click on gradient tool, select radial type, place this circle here, I will change it like so. Then go to properties panel, click on opacity, change blending mode to color burn. Then change opacity to 30%, like this. Now enter this one, select this object, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, I for eyedropper tool and click on previous object. Click here for gradient tool. Move it like so, V for selection tool, and exit this mode. So now let's create this shadow, select all these objects, but first of all, let's select only seeds. Select them like this, hold shift, click on burger to deselect it, and press Ctrl G. Alright, now select all these objects, and group them. Then Ctrl C, Ctrl F, go to properties panel, and in Pathfinder, click on unite. Then zoom out a bit, deselect this object, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse like this, don't release shift button and don't release the left mouse button, just still hold them and hold space bar also. With space bar you can move this ellipse, like so. Just place it somewhere here, alright, V for selection tool, let's change proportions, right here. You're deciding how this shadow will look like. So change proportions of this ellipse. Let's try to match our reference, just like so. Alright, I will leave it in this position. Now select them both, Shift plus M for Shape Builder, hold Alt and delete this part. Now I for eyedropper tool and click on this shadow, like this. You can make this shadow brighter. Let's change opacity to 10% or something close to this, deselect this object, alright, I will make this burger smaller, you can leave it as it is, I just need more space to build a shadow and to build background, I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, go for line segment tool, click here on swap fill and stroke, draw a line like this, hold shift, in properties panel, change width to 3 points, click on stroke and select round corners. Now V for selection tool to deselect it, I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, M for rectangle tool, draw a rectangle like this, P for pen tool, don't deselect this rectangle, just add a point here, click with pen tool, right there. A for direct selection tool, select this point, start to move it and hold shift. Now let's play this object down, right click, arrange, send to back. Now P for pen tool, just start to build line here, hold shift, then build a line here, hold shift also, like so, then go here, hold shift, then hold alt, move this handle here and connect these points. I for eyedropper tool and click on this shadow. V for selection tool, right click, arrange, send to back. Now let's build a background, I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, M for rectangle tool, draw a rectangle like this, V for selection tool, right click, arrange, send to back, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, double click on gradient tool, select radial, play with markers, like so, then go to opacity, change blending mode to soft light, then V for selection tool. Deselect this object, select it again, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and you can change its proportions like this. You should also remember that we have changed color on this marker. So if you want brighter color, 
just change it like so. Alright, so today I show you tools and tips that you will use in your illustrating all the time. In most of cases you'll need rectangle tool, ellipse tool, pen tool and shape builder. Today we also applied gradient with different blending modes. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest, interesting and useful tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.